GCU is the university that never sleeps. Move Okay. Hi, everybody. Get myself situated here. Coffee. Okay. All right. Hmm. So, uh, we should be able to finish this today. Um, we'll wrap up these uh, last two colors and get the basics of those down. And then we'll go back and we'll color some line work and we'll add in some details and um, we may even fiddle with some other things depending on how things shape up. But uh, let's get right into the good stuff here with the Genoa. So let me pull up the link for everybody to see the Genoa. Sure she knows I love her right before she floats away. I can't hear you. Screams too loud. All my ideas become perfect little blind spots. Pull me in. 
tucked away I'm starting to think I never learned what I need to learn All things past, we through skin Holding on to things that we shouldn't be allowed to keep Make them proud, dredged in guilt Call me when the miracle reduces to coincidence <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm, I, I feel so I want to like the Kipic eyes. I think they need more. Maybe they need a brighter highlights or something like that. I'm just not sure what I can do. I might even change the color. We'll play with it. Okay, so um, let me make sure I'm on my right layer here. Got my Genoa folder. We'll just slap a new raster layer underneath. Thanks. So, do, 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 looking at my Genoa here. Olive or tan skin. Mm, striping. Dark brown, brown, or light brown hair, and imposing yellow eyes. I didn't give these guys pupils. They probably need to. And for them. People are kind of tricky because if they don't match the circle they're inside even a little bit, it looks weird. And it also, like, trying to draw concentric circles really lets you know how not round that circle you drew is. As soon as you get in there, I'm like, oh, this is totally, this is like some kind of weird pointy oval thing. That's not a round eye. So we'll fix that. They're a little shaky. I think I did that on purpose. Looking at the concept art, they have tiny little eyes. Well, not more tiny than anybody else, I guess.
<clears throat> so um, the the uh, I, I kind of find the image, but they did like a slightly corrected version of um, uh, the tribal skin tones in, in an image because the concept art, all of the concept art, are a little pale, very pale. Um, they're basically all in the same palette, even though the descriptions, the text descriptions, say differently. So, um, I, I've been going mostly off of the text descriptions and just picking skin tones uh, that I find there. Um, and just, you know, I mean, with the understanding that skin tones vary from people to people, so even, we're only looking at one person in the, um, in the concept art. Uh, so, uh, and, and actually, if you look at the... Um, the latest cons. Well, we don't have Tarask body figures yet, but um, the uh, the Genoa 3D figures seem pretty dark. So <clears throat> it could work out anyway, really. And um, like I mentioned during the uh, yesterday's stream, um, I can get in here and slap a correction layer above my colors and. Uh, alter all of the hue, tone, uh, or, or yeah, and saturation, all that stuff, in order to um, change the colors to whatever I, I think they should be later on. So it's the beauty of digital. Is I'm never really locked into any choice permanently. Yeah, maybe my Tarasque has a pan. <laughs> <clears throat> make a, uh, a clone army of bombastuses in each tribe. You think? Get a design experience for a relic that creates duplicates of me? <laughs> okay, um, so I want to go with a darker color for this skin tone. Yeah, so, you know, I kind of, um, I was thinking a little, um, uh, Native American, uh, when I, when I thought about the Genoa and, um, I just get that vibe from them, you know, these, these, these jungle dwelling, uh, hunters, uh, so, um, and the, you know, uh, Native Americans don't really do facial hair to any great extent, um, uh, for the most part, their their uh, facial hair is very sparse because they came across the land bridge from Asia, and Asian um, uh, populations don't have really dense facial hair for the most part either, uh, with obviously some exceptions. And that was kind of the same reason why the Tarasque, because they seem a little more Asian-inspired, um, I, I also gave them the sparse uh, facial hair uh, with the, uh, the little Fu Manchu or whatever that is. Uh, 
Is that a Fu Manchu? Or I, f I forget the name of the mustache, but anyways. Um, so so that was the uh, the reasoning that I went uh, with for those two. Same reason why the like the somewhat Arabish um, uh, weird here has more straight with just a, a hint of a curl at the tips. So I was I was kind of thinking of different ethnic hairstyles and how their hairstyles would influence um, what they've uh, <clears throat> what they've got going on on their face. All my guesses, of course, but. Oh, see, Broodveer have the choice of yellow or hazel, whereas Genoa are only listed with yellow eyes. So maybe I should go back and make the Broodveer hazel. Although I do like that, that yellow. We'll see. I don't want to get distracted. I do that too much. You should see me when I'm drawing comic book pages. I'm all over the place. Just this panel, that panel, this figure, that figure, half drawn stuff everywhere. And let me fix some of these inks on the on the people here real quick since it's a little scattered. <clears throat> looking good, looking good. Lips. Lips. So I, I'm imagining the color that I want here. But like, finding it is so hard. This is it? No, wait. Anywhere. No. no, okay, so I need to edge it toward right a little bit. Better? That might be it. Just don't 
Hmm, that might be too much. Too intense. But I can work with it. to just go darker and warmer and I end up getting what kind of looks like when you put a multiply layer on. And that's not always the best shadow. What you really want to do is take your base color and go darker and more desaturated and if you can, cooler. So this is actually, this is how I arrived at that very green shadow on the Tarrasque. And this, on the Janelle, it's looking very blue. I suppose that fits a bluish green for forest canopy foliage. Let's go with it, see how it pans out. in some globs of dark there. And then I can go in and remove what I don't like with my pen. So a lot of my compositional elements have been trying to drive focus towards this eye. The, that's the whole reason the head is situated down and, uh, and to the side, so that way it's looking at you directly, you know, the center of focus is this eye. So that's why like the shadow keeps dropping right right down to it. That's why there's a little nice highlight on the cheek. I mean, other than the fact that that's where light would fall on the face, um, I'm trying to draw elements of the composition and the placement of things so that the focus is on this eye here, looking right at the viewer. So that drove the choice of putting the light source, you know, in such a way as to cast a shadow that would fall across that eye. By the way, the beats you're bouncing to right now are provided by Rhyme Sayers. They're a rap label out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. My hometown. Although I'm far away from that cold winter hell. <laughs> 
but um, yeah, if you like uh, what you hear, check them out. They um, they have a stream on Twitch that is completely video on demand um, and streaming rights free, so you can uh, throw it onto your onto your Twitch channel while you're playing and get some cool cool rap beats to go along with your gameplay. Or drawing, if that's what you do. That's what I do. Hmm. Not sure how to handle this crease. I guess I want it to be more subtle than Genoa. They don't seem like the creasy chin type. But it's one of those defining... I guess not defining, but it's a trait that I've been... sprinkling throughout to keep the character looking the same. It's much more subtle in the Genoan chin. Oh, really? See, okay, so I don't have, like, least favorite genres of music. I, I, um, I, I know that there are country songs that I don't like, but there are actually some country songs that I find uh, really well-written, compelling, um, and, uh, uh, you know, just fantastic pieces of music. And that's what I'm looking for, is, is a good piece of music. And there's a lot of good rap. Not all of it is coming out of rhyme sayers. There's some bad, there's some bad rap for, for rhyme sayers. But, um, uh, but, you know, I mean, they're trying and they're giving a lot of exposure to artists who, who normally wouldn't get exposure, which is cool. Um, so, you know, I don't know. I look at it as, a, it's all art. And uh, I'll give any art a try, even if it's country music. Hmm, I think I got something for you. I'll probably get muted for this later, but that's okay. Let me see here. Uh... Sorry, POS. We'll, we'll, we'll listen to you later. those files on my computer music dang where did I put the, oh there it is aha Of 
course. It didn't put it in order. Why would it put it in order? Let me try this again. No, that's fine. You know, I want the stream to be enjoyable, and uh, I'm oh, I'm looking okay. for a change of pace. I've been listening to uh, <laughs> Rhyme Sayers uh, for a lot lately, so that's fine. And this is good good mellow music, I think. Everyone's a stranger hiding inside higher tax brackets. I don't want my intelligence to be artificial or someone telling me, selling me it's more beneficial. So slow down ahead, this curve goes exponential with catastrophic unintentional consequence potential. So this is Wookie Foot, another Minnesota um, band, but uh, totally, very, very much different than the uh, the Rhyme Sayers. They actually throw us, uh, Wookie Foot throws some great concerts though, fantastic concerts. Light and sound and energy and oof, it's like a freaking carnival. Most mellow song. <laughs> they can get a little uh, excited too.
yours to create. These guys do uh, most of their work actually for charity, like they spend their concert season holding concerts and stuff like that, and then they take that money and go off and um, uh, try to um, basically uh, visit uh, communities in need and um, give them their needs, so, or well, help them attain their needs. It's pretty, been a pretty cool uh, little thing to watch develop over the years. Definitely an interesting certainly a refreshing take on what people choose to do with their record money. We'll return into stars. We'll return into us. We'll return into stars. We'll return. We'll return. Okay, uh, I need a little bit of shadow on the eyes, so I'll pop a new layer in here, set it to multiply, and get myself a nice medium gray color, and drop the opacity a little bit, and I'll uh, just sketch a quick shadow across the eyelid here, not too much of a shadow, double eyelid doesn't catch a lot of light. Or cast a lot of light downward. shadow and probably it should be mostly in shadow on this side because of the light source but because it's such a large lip like I think the shadow might go away a little bit as the lip wraps under and around into the mouth Maybe not. Maybe just a little bit of light on the top. Yeah. All right, ignore what I said before.
<laughs> yeah, I agree with you there. Shape up this chin. Oh yeah, let's put some Dreaming your first. highlights. In the water you want. Oops. Is inside the big vein on your neck. I'd have to go back and read it. I don't know if I got that that idea from it. Like I guess I'm not sure. Wait, the skin tones on the Tarasque and the Genoa look pretty similar now. I might want to fiddle with that. Also, this nose shadow on the nose is. Double check things. I think we're ready to move on to the dross. 
rising, Lee not frightening, mm. heart and mind filled with excitement, spirits rising, spirits rising, all of the people. So let's link the draws in chat and we'll talk about how they look. Because boy aren't they spooky. <laughs> Oh, they're so white. Hey, to the two people who are watching right now uh, who, who don't have a Twitch account, if you make a Twitch account, you can join Fudge Muffinator and I in our conversation, and we can talk about interesting things while I draw. Not that Fudge Muffin isn't an excellent conversationalist. You are. You are. You really are. <laughs> but, you know, you know, we just get there's more people watching than uh, are actually logged in right now, so log in and join us. We can talk about art, we can talk about Chronicles of Illyria, we can talk about music. Alright, so the Dross, if we're looking at our link, taller, lankier, do extremely pale white skin, black hair, and gaunt faces. You're not spamming, Fudge. Most people just come in here and don't chat at me at all. I end up talking to myself. I appreciate the extra company. <laughs> Yeah, no, I know people going back and, and like scrolling through the, the chat aren't going to notice all my comments in between. Uh, unfortunately. So, let's see. White. So skin is never really just the color it is. It's the color of the body filtered through the slight transparency of the skin. So... The foundation color that I put down has got to kind of represent that blend because I'm only doing two colors, uh, you know, or well, three colors, a, a shadow, a highlight, and a, a base layer. So if I just put white down, that's going to look strange. So I'm, I'm going to be going uh, to a, a sort of a colored white. And I want to represent the flesh tones that are underneath or the combination of the 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 tints and so yeah I feel like there is there's like some kind of maybe green or blue so we're gonna go into uh, the green blue range of our our circle here and I'm gonna try to pick out some and I want to keep it desaturated I don't want it to actually appear green but I think I like this right here let's see how that looks Oops. let's get on the right layer and see how that looks Come here, you. That might be too pale. see how that looks yeah so this is actually on the purpley side of, of uh, white and actually that kind of makes sense because the flesh underneath is red um, you know the blood and everything like that but 
you know, it's filtering through the whitish blue of the skin, so we're getting a sort of whitish, bluish, purplish something. So that feels good, I like that. Let's fill in our figure. get breakfast and discuss their strategies and the newsman seems excited to report the kill oh let me drop my eggs real quick make sure I'm not leaving any troublesome spots behind discovered a few last time and it's just easy to see them with no interference this looks good way back if we can't find the key Collective voice's mouth has somehow lost mm -hmm. its wisdom too. Mm -hmm. Oops, a little hasty. In a private rocket launcher, corporate sponsored voting booth. And just because you repeat a lie, or won't make it the truth. No, it's a long, long, long way down. It's a long way down if there's no parachute. <clears throat> All the paid off scientists resisting to the bone. They just discovered that polar bears don't give a damn about the new phone. And people living in glass houses shouldn't fly drones. No, it's a long, long, long way home. I did not it's notice the purple armpit on the Genoa. You're walking alone. So stay together. All right, so the eye matter. This Sclera, is that the white part? Sclera. We're gonna make that our yellowy white so that it's a good contrast to the purpley white of the skin. We actually might put that a little more yellow into it. Just for good balance. A drops eyes. Black. Gold. They're born with golden eyes, which change to a striking violet upon reaching adulthood. Oh, fun! I forgot about that. We're gonna make violet eyes. That's another, you know, nice compliment to the slightly purpley skin. But if they're saying Violence. you came right now, they'd nail him to a tree. Cause it's a long, long, long way off. It's a long way off if it's off just three degrees. The wind carries a whisper and it's starting to get loud. You can't fool the youth who see the truth behind the shroud. The trees in the forest that haven't fallen are the ones that make the sound And it's a long, long, long way down It's a long, long, long way down Okay, so this is apparently textbook, textbook violet according to Google It's really bright, it's almost pink Dark violet, 148, 0 to 11. 148. 
That's better. white and bled of any kind of color. We'll double check. I mean, it doesn't, you know, show much on the concept art or on the... Oh, the 3D model. I gotta find that. Not much color to the lips there. I mean, in general, I, it seems like the artists at uh, Soulbound Studios don't don't like to color lips, which I don't blame them. It's really hard to find a good color for the lips. You just keep it the same color as the flesh, then it's fine. But I mean, you know, people do have different colors for their lips, and I feel it's an important. Whoops! I feel it's an important thing to include. Same with eyelashes. Some artists just don't draw eyelashes. You gotta have eyelashes, man. Get your watery eyes that way. Here we go. But you know, it doesn't get much in the way of eyelashes because of the double eyelid again. I should give. Tell you what, let's for fun. Hope the kids are draws. What do you think? Do you like it? Well, I do think I want to darken up the eyelid, though. A little bit. So thin out the lower eyelid. I don't actually want that to be too heavy because it catches more light. Don't match. Find problems with these inks. I'll fix them later. Let's get let's get going with this color so we can have that done. What time is it? 11:17. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. I want to move a fight through my depression, lost inside the gray. But the clouds typically, like I said before, I want to move my shadow desaturated and more cool 
then the figure. I feel like I actually want to go a little warmer with this shadow. Let's see what we get. So, yeah, I think that was a good choice. The other day I saw my sadness sitting down by the riverside. Caught him drinking deeply from the stream of regret, and I said, You silly fool, I know your name. I see your smile, I know your game now. Sitting there getting drunk on the sorrow, leaving me for dead. But sometimes my shadows do return. I just turn towards the sun and they fall behind me. We make these guys, it's up for you, it's up to me. I'm going to change the creases in the forehead too because one of the intents is that the, the arch in the eyebrow, the shadow, everything should kind of line up more or less along this line here right down into the pupil.
living in the present tense. People all disconnect, disregard laws of cause and effect. But the light reflects with eyes looking up from the glow of the screen. See the embers still pulse and divulge what they mean. Seeking out the knowledge that the ashes keep. Now the whole world's changed. And so their numbers grew and grew. Learning all that they could find. Gathering flowers with fire now. Reclaim the flame, reclaim the light. Yeah, I've noticed that too, like in the concepts, the, the, and I mean, I guess it's because all of the tribes that have diverged have had cause to, um, to drift apart from one another. Uh, so while the Hrothi and the Naren and the Kippic all come from the Naren, they all look vastly different as well. I think the Dross Genoa split is more recent, so their, their overall body morphology hasn't changed drastically. But it's still, <clears throat> you know, it still had time to drift and change according to the adaptations required by their biome. Oh, let's uh, scooch back some of the shadows on the eyelids here, especially that big sagging lower eyelid. a little bit on the top because of the overhanging shadow there. A little bit the back of the ocular cavity. I didn't do that on the Genoa. I think I've got those very subtle eyes, so maybe that won't be best. What we got? That's everything. I need to put a highlight on the dross. Uh, maybe I could put like a really hot white spot right on the top of the dome here. Just Compassion from the ashes of greed 
All right, so I'm feeling pretty good about these overall. Um, that could be an interesting, yeah, it's really gonna be super interesting to see how the tribes, because they've diversified in isolation, but now they're gonna have the opportunity through the players' activities to um, to really mix and mingle. I mean, people are really excited about the opportunity of, of kind of fiddling with their genetics over time. Um, I am too. Uh, it's one of the things I want to do in the game, actually, is I want to be a, um, uh, a purveyor of exotic genetics to the wealthy, noble clientele of Illyria. So, uh, in, in, in essence, I'll be an NPC pimp. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, you know, cultivate relationships with NPCs and help people cultivate relationships with those NPCs in order to have children uh, of their uh, exotic genetic stock they desire. I'll be an NPC rancher. So let's see here. Um, I only got a little bit of time left. I wanted to do a lot more work as far as coloring line work and stuff today. I might still get into that this afternoon. I got a lot of errors to correct too, just to kind of make sure that everything is as I want it to be. But um, yeah, we've come a long way this week. We've got a lot of uh, a lot of good progress going and. <laughs> Look, I'm not opposed to coming off as snooty. Not in the least. I, I'm a dude. I, if I don't come off as snooty, I'm not doing it right. <clears throat> Anyways, um, so thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed um, this this little journey through uh, the tribe explorations with me. Um, I, uh, good news, because I've been streaming so much this past uh, month, I'm actually now a, a Twitch affiliate, which is super awesome. Um, so if you enjoyed your time here, you can uh, uh, donate some bits to my cause, uh, or even subscribe and uh, be a, a sustaining um, uh, benefactor for, for my continued artistic life. Um, being an artist is not easy, it takes a lot of time, and that's time that I can't spend earning art anywhere else, so, uh, or earning money anywhere else. So every little bit helps me greatly, uh, so please consider doing that. Um, do check out Doomtree, um, not Doomtree, I, okay, one of the artists on Rhymesayers is Doomtree, and they're fucking awesome. So check out Doomtree, but check out uh, Rhymesayers in general. Uh, they, they provide great music that's uh, totally uh, legit for um, streaming. And then uh, I, I didn't get express permission to um, play the Wookiee Book tracks I played today, but they are an awesome band also, and you should check them out because um, they, uh, uh, they have some really awesome jams and some really socially conscious material, and I'm all about the, uh, the music with a purpose. So uh, check out Wookiee Book, and uh, thanks for visiting my screen. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, uh, doing this, you know, every day uh, of, of the week uh, for this entire month, so um, uh, we'll, we'll have some dependable schedules going forward, and I'll be working on Chronicles of Valyrian material the whole time, so uh, it'll be really fun and really exciting, and I hope you join me, and I'll see you next time.